What's up guys? This is Frost from Controlled Chaos Airsoft. Hello. And today we're going to be doing a loadout video. This is my loadout. Um, I'm going to show you my gun, my new plate carrier, everything I run on and in it, and my helmet. My belt stuff is back there. It's not on the belt because it kind of requires it to be on my pants. And I don't feel like doing a gear loadout like on my person. So first we're going to start with my, one of my two guns that I just bought off a friend, brand new KWA CQR Mod 1, has a Lancer Tactical rail system, or not rail system, barrel, like mock suppressor, however you want to call it, just because I can. It really doesn't look all that good, I just kind of have it because I like the extra length. So yeah, that's that's that. It's just a plain M4 carbine, shoots about 330. And this is my main gun. It just got fixed thanks to Amped Airsoft. It is an Airsoft GI FMG 4A3 Spec V. Has some sort of Mad Bull rail. I can or not actually wrong. It's a Viking Tactics. Yeah, Viking Tactics something rail. I don't ever remember the name of it. I've seen it a trillion times. But yeah, and I have a um. Did they take the? They did. They took the screw out of the flash hider. But I have a um, GMP flash hider of sorts, I believe, or King Arms. Definitely King Arms. It says right there, KA. I believe that's that. I don't know much of the stuff, the brands. I'm not good at remembering that. But this is definitely an NC Star cantilever mount red dot sight, red green. I don't know if you can. See. Yeah, so you saw it for a second there. Good enough. Yeah, that's that. It's red green. You usually run it on green, but then if it's dark, if it's dark to like indoor lighting, I use green. But then outdoor, I use red because the red is brighter, helps play against the sun. And then what I run, this will be on my belt, so we'll get to that later. But I use a uh, KWA USP forty-five or USP compact, that's what it's called. I also just got this. It's a really good pistol. I haven't quite worked out the hop up yet because it's kind of, it's weird. It comes with a special tool and you have to go through a lot of testing and I haven't really done that yet. But yeah, that's that. And I have an extra mag. I'll show, show you that later on my plate carrier. So that's that. We'll get that out of the way. And then I use um, Elite Force 2, 0.25 Bio BBs, 0.25 gram. They're, they're good. Elite Force are probably the best BBs that I've used. I've used like Valken, G&G, &G, KWA, and those are probably the best ones. Um, and I have Firepower Green Gas for my USP. I don't know, I've only used this. I've used this Valken and an Elite Force. I think this or the Elite Force are probably the best. The Valken was, didn't seem to have as much like power to it. And then we'll go to um, my helmet. It's a Lancer Tactical Fast Helmet. It's just cheap. I only got it. I own an Emerson helmet, but the uh, NVG broke. The straps fell off, or like one of the screws got lost someday. And all kinds of things were just missing on it. So I just, instead of buying the replacement parts, not knowing exactly what I needed, I just bought this. The other one was an AOR1. This is in tan. This works well. I, I needed the NVG for my GoPro. And then um, on the patches I have, I have a US flag. On this side, I have um, Tim vs. Bob 4.5, um, Rise of the Rebellion. That was held at Ballahack in Virginia. This is Operation Reclamation 2. That was at X-Zone, also in Virginia. This was Airsoft GI. This was GI Tactical Event. And on top, I have an Evite Guns and Coffee patch. Their coffee is delicious, just want to say. And then I have ESS um, Marine Corps goggles. I don't remember the exact... I don't remember the name of them. I just know I got them off my neighbor who's in the Marine Corps. He got His buddy gave him an extra pair that he had. And so he gave them to me knowing I play Airsoft. So that's that. I, um, I use a Condor one point quick detach sling. Bungee. Or, yeah, this is Bungee. It's, it does its job. I mean, I'm sure they're better. I'm sure the Pantac one's better. Any other thing, Blackhawk. I think has one or blue force gear, but it works. It does its purpose. I usually don't use the sling all that much because 
Mostly I play indoor, so I only play for at most 25 minutes at a time at Seal City, and then I take it off. Battlegrounds games aren't that long. And then I drop the gun, so I'm not carrying it for immense amounts of time. But we're, we are getting into the outdoor gameplay more. We play local a lot, but we don't do a lot of going to either TRP or Mercer. So, yeah, I don't use this all that much. But I will use it. We're trying to get a gr group of us to go down to an event in Virginia. So uh, the first one on our list is one at X-Zone, but we haven't decided yet. And then before I get to the plate carrier, because it's going to be the longest... Just gonna show you my belt real quick. I have my neighbor, the Marine, gave me this. It's a dump pouch. I only took it this over the Condor one I have because it's a whole lot bigger. I can fit all of my mags plus my pistol mags, and like I put it my um barrel protector or my barrel cover in there too, and it fits it all. I mean, it it kind of flops around when it's full, but that's just to be expected. I have a Blackhawk Surfa holster. Surfa holster. I think I said that right. And I mount that on a Condor BDU belt. I just got it. It was $8. My belt was too small for me. So I just got this. It's It, it works. Again, it, does its, it serves its purpose. I don't need a fancy belt right now. But I'm sure eventually I will go for higher quality stuff. And lastly, I just use a... I have a Shemog. I also have a Condor um, multi-wrap. But that's in the washer because it smells terrible. So are my Mechanics Impact 2.0 gloves. And I think that's it. Okay, now we're going to get to the vest. The vest is a Fly 6094 replica. It um, I haven't used it in a game yet. I, it just came in the mail Friday, I think. But it's really sweet. I, uh, I sold my Banshee to another member of our team because he needed a tan plate carrier to fit the loadout. But this is really sweet. I have the... Uh, I have a Blue Force Gear double mag insert, M4 mag, and uh, that holds two KWA K120s. These are the only mid-caps I own. I, I, I like these. They've fed perfectly in every gun I have, so I don't see why to ruin a good streak. I'm not get, probably never going to get P-mags just because $30 a mag is kind of stupid for 30 extra BBs in the realistic look. It's not really my forte, but... Then in here I have the LBT uh, insert, triple M4 mag insert for the 1694. Yeah, I have the LBT insert on the fly plate carrier. It's kind of weird. But it, um, again, it works. It, this is the real, um, like the real gear insert. LBT makes a 1694 if you weren't aware. And um, I also have an Elite Force kill rag here. These things are sweet. I just picked it up. I used it for a day. It's really cool. It, um, it, it's not as hard to stuff in as people think. Like, as you see, it only took me a few seconds there. And then it's back there. The only problem, it kind of sticks out a little at the top. And it's just weird. Kind of OCD. Three patches. I have a Molon Lab, which is Greek for come and get it kind of thing. Like, try and take it. Um, I have a can of whoop ass and I have a major league door kicker patch um, and then we'll go to this side first just to show you I have my uh, Pantac hydration tube running through the molly loops I took off the straps because they're uncomfortable for me I, I don't know what it is but they're really stiff and I just don't find them at all comfortable so I just took them off and then um, I have I do have a radio in the built in radio pouch I have a Motorola talk about it's a camo. Brought them at Walmart. We got a pair of them. We don't even know what happened to the first one, so don't have that. But I do have mine, and it's right here. I'm going to get a headset. A friend of mine is selling all his Airsoft stuff. I might buy the headset off him, but I don't know. And then we'll go to the other side in the other radio pouch. Well, first I have a little Blue Force Gear carabiner. It's like $5. And then in the other radio pouch, I have my USP mag because I don't have a pistol mag pouch was going to buy one of the Blue Force Gear ones, but they don't fit these. These mags are too big, and I haven't yet found a mag pouch that like I could actually try out, so I haven't used it yet. Um, and then, also, these are also K120s. I think I mentioned that. Um, and then we go to the back. I have a Pantac uh, MAP. I can't remember the name of it. 
or what what that stands for. Something assault panel. Molly assault, I don't know. I, I'm having a blank. Modular assault panel. Mal, map pack, yeah. And it uh, has two pouches plus hydration, which runs out of here. And um, on the side here, I have a Condor gadget pouch. Inside the gadget pouch, in the front pouch, I have a utility or like a pocket knife. Just if you get caught on branches or something, which I seem to do a lot, things like that. A uh, extra CO2 in case just someone needs one. A lighter. Really, I don't know why. It's kind of like a survival thing. I don't know. No idea. And silicone oil for my green gas pistol. So let me throw that back in there. Uh, yeah, okay. And then inside the gadget pouch, I don't think I have anything. Normally I'll store my phone in my wallet. My wallet fits in the bottom and then I kind of slide the phone behind it. And it's really padded, it's really thick, so your phone gets shot, it's not breaking. And then here I have a Ninja Please patch that a friend of mine got me for my birthday. That was uh, Eagle, or the other co-captain. And then um, on for the map pack, I have the three patches. I have a, if you see me running, try to keep up, and it's an EOD. A uh, that guy patch in SWAT colors, and then O2, which is my um, call sign. It's CCA02. And then first we'll open the bottom one. Unstrap it all. Um, in here, I have a little bit of little bit of paracord. It's not much. It's just I don't really know what sharpie, pen, utility or yeah, multi tool. Uh, a cool stuff pack and elite force patch. I just didn't have room for them. Um, electrical tape and an elite force dead rag or not elite force. I have that on the front. The airsoft GI dead rag that they gave out. For whatever that promotion was. I don't know. A friend of mine, I think, gave it to me because I lost mine. And then I ended up buying the Elite Force. Okay, so I'm trying to speed this up. We'll go into the top. The only things I have in here, I normally have duct tape that's up in my room. I forgot to put it back in. And then I have a medic uh, first aid kit kind of thing. It has a treatment for small cuts and burns, medium cuts and scratches, severe bleeding and burns, CPR uh, protection and instruments tools. And I just fold that up like two halves, and then I just stuff it in. And I also have the Pantac two liter, or it might be three liter hydration in there. So yes, I believe that that's my kit. Oh, I didn't go over the attachments on my gun. Oh, I'll do that. Hold on. It's um. Yes, I, I did. I, I said the NC Star. Um, red dot and stuff. I just didn't say I have a Magpul angled foregrip and a bunch of stickers because I like stickers. I also, you'll notice I don't have any speed loaders. That's because I um, I have the Elite Force SL14 speed loader and I personally wouldn't carry it on the field just because, as you can see, I don't have any room for it. It doesn't fit into the map pack, but I do have it and I would probably... I will probably find a way to bring it up, maybe get like a shotgun pouch. So, um, yeah, I believe that's it. My FMG4 USP Compact. Ah, Fly 6094 replica. Battle belt, not battle belt. I don't use the battle belt. Lancer tactical helmet. That's all I've got, folks. Um, thank you for watching. I know it's a pretty long video. I just want to do an in-depth kit review because I had a lot of new stuff. I mean, new vests, new pouches, new mags, new map pack. I used to just run a Condor Hydration, but I sold that with my Banshee. And I sold my triple mag pouch. I, I sold a bunch of stuff, bought a bunch of stuff, got Christmas presents and such. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching. This has been Frost from Controlled Chaos Airsoft. And I'll see you later. Hey guys, two quick things. Um, one, I messed up. I said I got this for my birthday. Really, I got it for Christmas from Eagle. Just uh, not really anything important. Just I didn't want to leave people on wrong. And the other thing is, I want you to check out our Instagram page. It's Controlled Chaos Airsoft. Um, we post gun and gear picks. I'm going to be posting. I'm going to do an upgraded gear list of everything I have. I have a gear list for myself, Eagle, and uh, Liberator. And um, so I'd like it if you guys check that out. I'll put the link down in the description. But 
Um, yeah, I'll be posting the updated gear list as soon as I'm done and up making and uploading this video. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching. See you later.